<clears throat> anyway, trying to sell my 91 Suburban. So I'll do a little video on it. Uh, asking 2000 bucks, And it's got 142000 on it. I got it in 01 with about 125000 And mostly just pull my small camper trailer with it. 454 and uh, just did a compression test and all eight are between 150 and about 170 and uh, I'll fire it up and then do a little tour through the interior I, um, I'm pretty straightforward with uh, everything I know about it so I think it's a good buy no hidden uh, hidden stuff here so Uh, clear coat starting to go on it. I repainted the top and a um, few places where it's going but no rust through. Some pitting but I think that's in the clear coat. And uh, you can kind of tell a home, homemade uh, paint job on the hood there has kind of got lots of tiger stripes on it. Uh, paint ain't great, but it's, like I said, it's not rusting through too many places. Barn doors, people really say that's a good feature. Um, again, 91, it's been used for camping, hauling firewood. So, weather stripping's a bit ratty. Uh, it's got an oddball size spare tire because the 235-85, I think I've had a full size spare, won't fit in that wheel well. I don't think the uh, defrosters on the back window work anymore. I think, uh, what is GEW on this, 8,500? These, uh, I think I'll pull it out onto the street where the sunshine will get in here a little bit. It's got the third seat. Headliner's coming down, but with the center console there, head console, uh, at least stays up. rubber on it. Talk about the squealing. Serpentine belt. Yeah, maybe get inside where it's a little quieter. Yeah, kind of mismatched tires around. Again, I only put 26,000 no, uh, 25 to 42 I have put less than 20 20,000 miles on it in 15 years so my tires kind of die of old age they die of old age before they wear out
Yeah, I don't know. Get enough daylight in here to be able to see very well. Carpets. Fairly clean. Of course, just vacuum it out. I've always found GM stuff to be pretty durable. Dash, of course, has the typical breakup of the vinyl. Okay, the squeaky squeaky. So the fan belt. Serpentine belt. Replace the idler. I suppose if I went through and replaced the systematically started replacing a power steering pump, alternator, AC compressor, uh I don't know, it's it's got a water pump, put a water pump on it at twenty five thousand. Hard to tell um which one it is. Seems to work okay. Um except it's just squeaky. Anyway. This uh, rear seat's got one little spot here with a spring. There's a spring in there kind of poking up. Let's see. I think just about everything works on it. Our windows. This thing could be uh, taken apart and lubed up. I don't know if you got that or not. Tilt steering. Um, it's got the brake controller for trailer. Paint. A few scratches here and there. Uh, neighbor kid. Neighbor kid with a BB gun got that. Yeah. Well, been trying to. What? You want one? No. You need another one? No. We're donating our appliances because we can't sell them. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited to get them out of our kitchen. I had my, uh, you know, our stove. Yeah. Finally, uh, the gal came by and she says, well, will you take an offer? And I'm like, okay. She says, 20 bucks. Okay. <laughs> Right, you gotta put in either power or gas. Yeah, you have to have both. We have it now, but we don't need the stove. <laughs> anyway, um, call me if you have any questions. I got a ton of pictures of it too. Oh yeah, um, I wonder what, I'm trying to remember what that was, uh, I've never had chains on it. This tire blew pulling my camper, shredded the tire, and I think it threw some of the bead, some of the belting out onto the fender. And, oh yeah, when I was painting it, don't know if you can see that in the hood, some of that, uh, plastic blew off and messed up the paint. Daughter uh, hit a mailbox with it. It's a big truck. A little bit of stuff like this. Could touch that up, I guess. <laughs> I shouldn't do this if I'm trying to sell it, huh? Okay. Anyway,